Welcome to my classroom. In the last three videos, I used mass points to solve problems of triangles, which have a special structure. That is, the lines inside the triangle are drawn from the vertices and then the lines are concurrent. The point of intersection is regarded as the center of mass of the triangle, and the masses of the vertices are assigned according to the ratio of the line segments. In this video, I use mass points to handle triangles with another structure and it involves further techniques. Let me introduce the structure and techniques through examples. In the figure of example 1, the numbers represent the ratio on the sides. Given three pairs of ratios, and we look for the ratios on the line segments EF and AD. The line segment AD is drawn from the vertex A, and the other line segment EF has endpoints on the sides AB and AC. Before using mass point, it is good for you to pause the video and work out the solution with the method you learned from school so that you have a comparison of the solution and answer obtained by mass point later. Let me demonstrate the solution by ratio of areas first. In order to make use of the given ratios, John GB and GC. Let the area of triangle AGF be A. By the given ratio 1 to 2, area of BGF is 2A. Similarly, let the area of BGD B, 3B, then area of CGD is 4B. Let area of AGE be 3C, then the area of CGE is 2C. Due to the same base, ratio of area equals ratio of height, we have area of AGB to area of AGC equals to 3 to 4. That is, 3A to 5C is 3 to 4. Thus, A to C is 5 to 4. As the ratio of FG to GE is same as the ratio of the area of triangles AGF and AGE, we have FG to GE is A to 3C. Substitute the ratio of A to C and get 5 to 12, the answer of the first ratio. To find the other ratio, join FC. Let the area of triangle CGF be D. From the diagram, we see that area of triangle ACF equals a plus 5C plus D. Area of BCF is 2A plus 7B minus D. As the ratio of these triangles is 1 to 2, substitute and half. Simplify, we get equation 1. As area of CGF to area of CGE equals to FG to GE, which is 5 to 12, the answer obtained earlier. So we have D to 2C equals to 5 to 12. That is, D equals to 5C over 6. Substitute this into equation 1. We have C equals to 14B over 25. Now, AG to GD equals area of AGC to area of DGC, that is 5C to 4B. Substitute the result, we have 7 to 10, the answer of the second ratio. Now, let me solve the problem again by mass point. The configuration of this triangle is different from the triangles in my previous videos on mass point. That's the line segment AD passes through the vertex, 
but EF does not. To use the technique of mass point, first, identify the center of mass. For this triangle, G is the point inside the triangle and it is the point of intersection of AD and EF. We got G as the center of mass of the triangle. When we calculate the mass of G from the line segment AD, it is the sum of the mass of A and the mass of D, where the mass of D is the sum of the masses of B and C. However, when we calculate the mass of G from the line segment EF, the mass of E comes from the sum of masses of A and C, and the mass of F comes from the sum of masses of A and B. Here, the mass of A is counted in both calculations. But the mass of A is not supposed to be double counting for the total mass of G. The mass of A needs to be split. The partial mass of A counted for the mass of E is assigned by the ratio on the size AC, and so as the other partial mass of A for the size AB. This is the idea of split mass. Now, referring to the ratio on BC, that is, BD to DC is 3 to 4. Assign a mass of 4 to B and a mass of 3 to C. Then the total mass of the line segment BC at D is 7. To split the mass at A, since AF to FB is 1 to 2, and the mass of B is 4, so the partial mass of A on this side is 8. Similarly, AE to EC is 3 to 2, and the mass of C is 3, so the partial mass of A on this side is 2. Add up the speed masses, the full mass of A is 10. Let me have a quick check for the total mass at G. From the line segment AD, the mass of G comes from the full mass of A10 and the mass of D7, that is, the mass of G is 17. From the line segment EF, first calculate the mass of F, which comes from the partial mass of A8 and the mass of B4, that is, the mass of F is 12. Similarly, the mass of E comes from the partial mass of a2 and the mass of C3, that is the mass of E is 5. So the mass of G calculated on the line segment EF is 12 plus 5, 17, same as the one obtained by the line segment AD. Now back to the question, we get the ratio of the line segments immediately by the masses calculated. Fg to Ge is given by the mass of E to the mass of F, that is 5 to 12. Similarly, we have Ag to Gd, which is 7 to 10. The ratios are same as solution 1. Here is another example for consolidation. Given a parallelogram, the ratios are marked in the diagram. Find the ratio BG to GD. You may think about this question on your own first. The first solution is done by ratio of areas. Draw the diagonal AC. Denote the intersection of two diagonals by M. As diagonals bisect each other, M is the midpoint of AC. That is, the ratio of AM to MC is 1 to 1. If you look at the structure carefully, you can see that the configuration of triangle ABC is same as the configuration of example 1. I leave the calculation of using ratio of areas for you as an exercise. You may pause the video for the exercise. According to our discussion in example 1, we got G as the center of mass of triangle ABC, and the mass at the vertex B needs to be split. 
as AE to EB is 1 to 2, if the mass of B is 1, then the mass of A is 2, or the mass of A is a multiple of 2. For BF to FC equals 3 to 4, if the mass of B is 4, then the mass of C is 3, that is, the mass of C is a multiple of 3. Since AM to MC is 1 to 1, the mass of A is equal to the mass of C. Take the LCM of 2 and 3, that is 6, assign a mass of 6 to both A and C. Thus, on the size of AB, the parcel mass of B is 3, and the parcel mass of B on the size BC is 8. So, the full mass of B is 11. The mass of M is 12. Therefore, BG to GM is 12 to 11. With this ratio, we can calculate the ratio BG to GD. That is 12 to 11 plus 12 plus 11. It goes to 6 to 17. The working by mass point is much faster than the calculation by ratio of areas. Yet, if you can make use of suitable construction, the solution can also be obtained quickly without mass point. The construction is to extend both DA and FE such that the produce meet at H. There are two pairs of similar triangles formed by this construction. First, consider similar triangles EAH and EBF. Then we have AH to BF equals to AE to BE. That is, AH to 3 equals 1 to 2. So AH is 3 over 2. Consider another pair of similar triangles BGF and DGH. BG to GD equals BF to DH. It equals to 3 to 3 over 2 plus 3 plus 4. It goes to 6 to 17. The answer we obtained earlier. The solution is short and simple, but you need to have a good insight for the construction. So far, we have explored the use of mass point on two kinds of configuration. The first configuration was discussed in the 14th video, mass point basic techniques. The center of mass of a triangle is located at the intersection of two line segments, both drawn from the vertices of triangle. The second configuration is the one discussed in this video. The center of mass is the intersection of a line segment drawn from a vertex and the other line segment has two endpoints on the sides. In this case, we need to split the mass at the vertex. The third configuration is that the center of mass comes from two line segments. Both have endpoints on the sides. This configuration will be discussed in the next video. You may explore the mass point calculation for the third configuration on your own first. The problem here is for your exploration.